What's up everybody, it's your boy Nick McLovin here. Today we are doing a sports opening and I am super excited as you can tell. I absolutely love sports. So today is going to be a lot of the stuff that I've gotten from free giveaways. That's right, when everybody was locked down, I entered a bunch of free giveaways and won a bunch of sports stuff. So today, this is all going to be from free giveaways or the one thing from a waffle. Uh, I actually got two of these guys from Mike Cano and the Laredo Sports Card Connection Group. That's right, go check out Laredo Sports Card Connection on Facebook. Uh, this I got two of these guys here, and I believe it was $10 to enter. And it was the first time I've actually won in Last Man Standing Wheel of Names. So if you've never done Wheel of Names, basically what they do is they go ahead and put everybody's name on the Wheel of Names. And then they remove people as they lose. The last person standing wins the prize. So everything else here I've actually just won off of free giveaways of either inviting people or just joining a group. And they throw your name in a hat and basically spin the wheel or put you in the randomizer and you you win it so all this stuff was pretty much free for me other than the one that I got a waffle in so today we're gonna open it all up so uh, we have the Denoris basketball 88 so any of you guys that know anything about sports you'll know this is about a $50 product right here we have the uh, Panina contenders football which I am a huge football buff like I said I will talk football all day long with any of you guys the NBA hoops this is a 1920 NBA trading cards. This is something that I got from Brenda Lay. And then we got that opening day ML MLB there. So that's a brand new one. That's brand new to everybody. So most of the stuff, so if you want to count this up, we got about 50, about 40. Uh, this one's about 65, and then about another 20. And then we have a Panina Contenders basketball cards. Uh, fatter pack, 18 card value pack. The Fat Pack of Panina Contenders Football. And a Topps Fat Pack as well. Baseball Series 2021 Series 1. This one actually was something that, that I was sent and I wasn't really expecting it. So definitely a shout out to you. And then we have a bunch of football cards here. This was a multi-pack that I got here, guys. So this has stuff from back in the 90s when I was a kid. You know, I was a huge football, football fan collecting football cards when I was younger. As you can see, this one here is a 1990 Series 1, 1991, the old school Pacific Plus. I haven't heard anything from Pacific in a long time, so this will be something fun to open for me. 95 football, select 94, and then it ends it off with that collector's choice NFL football, 1996. So we're going to open all this up today, guys. So. Um, all you guys that know me personally, you know that I absolutely love sports, and this is going to be a lot of fun for me. So, let's kick it off. We'll start off with uh, Panina Connect Contenders uh, Basketball Prem Premier Green Autograph one here. Um, I actually sent one of these out to one of my subscribers, and it was one, th one of the many things that he had there. So, we're going to start out. we got the prospect tickets, so it's going to be uh, Lillard... Bradley Beal, Devin Booker, Joel, J.J. Redick, Jaron Jackson Jr., Chris Middleton, Zach Levine, Taylor Brown, and back to that, like I said in my previous video, so sports cards, that's one thing I've noticed is they'll put cards upside down. So Chris Paul, Trey Young, Leonard, so now it's going to get to some of the bigger hits here. So the first one is a mascot, the Duke's mascot. Josh Hart. Obi Toppin, that's a nice card. Draft 2020 class. Looks like I got a Richard Hamilton. There's that green prism there for you. Beautiful shine to it. And it's a Chris Paul, which is a very nice card. And we got a Trey Young as well, so very nice, very nice college cards there. We get those off to the side, and I'll sleeve everything up at the end here. I do like these little mascot cards. I get a kick out of those guys. Let's move right over. We're gonna do the tops pack next here, and then we're gonna open up all these little booster boxes. Probably last because they're usually a little bit bigger hits, and obviously they cost a little bit more. So I definitely want to end the video all right with some bangers. 
So all of the baseball here, we'll just go through it real quick. And once again, you guys will see this time and time again in all the new sports packs. You know, that's one thing I did not see when I was a kid. When we were kids, they never had them upside down, inside out. They took the time to actually go ahead and put them all the right side up from what I remember. Um, I do have a huge sports card co collection. One of these days, I'll whip out my binders and show you guys that. Um, I'll, everything I have for sports cards is all going to, going to be put away for my son. So you'll see me stop on all these Twins cards. I'm a Twins fan. That's Nelson Cruz. Obviously, being from Minnesota, I'm a Minnesota born and raised boy, so I've been a lot of other places, but I always come back to Minnesota, so that's my team. Oops, skipping cards here. So, sideways card there. Nolan Ryan. There's a classic card for you. Nolan Ryan there. So a lot of the Nolan Ryan cards are actually worth a lot. I'm, I haven't seen any of the, the new Nolan Ryan in these ones, so that's something I'm going to put right in a right in a sleeve. It's beautiful can get it condition there. I'm surprised that they put something like that in these, but I suppose they put some of the classical guys in here too. I got a lot of Nolan Ryan cards. Get that out of the way here. So we got a signed card. Jordan Alvarez signed. And Buster Posey, so they usually give you two signed cards in these. So that'll be going to my Twins collection to put put in top loaders. So and then they're going to go to their sideways cards. There's a team hit one there. The Baltimore Orioles. Then they always do like the team handshake ones, which is kind of cool. Dab on them. The dab, man. I, I didn't. I always get a kick out of that. People doing the dab. So a couple big hitters there. Looks like. You know, with these tops 2021 series one edition cards, they definitely. You know, they did some some good work on these. You know, I always like when they have a little bit thicker, thicker cards to them, where you know they aren't going to bend quite as easy. Ooh, nice. Nice Miguel Cabrera. And it ends off, it looks like I uh, add him there. So we got a pitcher. So a couple big hits there for me, guys. Nolan Ryan, obviously, being the biggest one. Try to get these all uh, nicely stacked up here. You see me reach across my camera quite often, so I do apologize for that. Said I am a novice in all this. It's all just in fun for me. Something for me to open up. And all my other videos are just to give a shout out to everyone else. The sports stuff is definitely a blast for me, guys. I absolutely, absolutely have a blast opening sports stuff. So it brings me back to being a kid. <clears throat> so right off the bat there. Got that Jared Goff. Vander Esch. Le'Veon Bell. Josh Allen. Like I said, Josh Allen's cards are going to go up as he plays more. Preston Williams, Dwayne Haskins, Devontae Adams, DK Metcalf. Oh, we got that Kirk Cousins. <laughs> Good old Kirk. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes. Very nice card there. I do like Patrick Mahomes. If you heard me in my previous sports videos, Patrick Mahomes is awesome. He's a very humble guy. AJ Green, Cam Newton, Kyler Murray, Bosa, Goodwin, Sutton. So it looks like our bigger hits, hitters are going to be here. So looks like we got an AJ Dillon, Rookie of the Year. Legendary, Juan Riggins. Nice, Brandon Aoki. Nice rookie there, Brandon Aoki. And then it ends off with the contenders. It looks like uh, Jerry Judy and Henry, must be Henry, Ru yeah, him, Henry Ruggs the third. So nice rookie there, Aoki. And y'all can have a good laugh at me pronouncing some of these cards' names. All right, we'll get them put off to the side here, get them in different stacks as I have different binders for everything. And like I said, I have a ton of binders all, all together. That's just something that I'm going to hang on to. Put all these rookies off to the side. Any of the rookie cards have really went up in price, and they keep, continuously keep going up. 
So let's go back to the day when I was a kid. So these are going to be very nostalgia packs for me. I want to start with the specific ones. So as you can see, the way it's wrapped here, it's old school wrapping of the tin foil. And as you can hear a rip there, that's how long these cards have been in, been in these sleeves. And they're actually in great condition. They're a little bent, but not too bad. Steve Young, whoop, whoop. And like I said, I was a 49ers fan when I was younger, so I'm gonna keep all the Steve, all the 49ers stuff off to the side as well. Kiprom, Jim Sweeney, Wes Hopkins, and Dexter Carter is the last one. So not too bad a condition. They're a little bent, but not you know, overall for being. 20 years old, that's something that you, you don't see a lot of is cards that are in pristine condition. So we're going to put them off with our rookies here. And we're just going to keep on trucking since I know this is a bigger opening. Everybody's got stuff to do today. It is Wednesday here in Minnesota. So Wednesdays for me means that we tonight is our last bowling league. So tonight is going to be very busy for me. So later I will be getting a nap in. Um, our bowling league on Wednesdays is all all uh, salesmen's league. So our salesmen's league take up all of our lanes, which is 17 on one side, and then we have open bowlers on the other side. So like last night we had a party of 80 people, plus we had a bar, and then we had the league on top of it. So we actually had a full house last night, and it was a lot to keep up with. So it definitely wore me out. Um, big shout out to Courtney, who who I work with for kicking ass last night. So we got an MVP right off the bat there. So yeah, like you guys said, you know, them collector's choices, beautiful cards. So rookies class here, we're gonna be a lot of rookies that are probably gonna actually be worth a little bit. So we got Derek Mays, Rodney Thomas, Eddie George, wow, that's an old card. So Chris Warren, yeah, so I guess a lot of these cards are backwards, upside down. Some of these companies, I suppose, just they're in so fast of printing trying to get stuff out. So, mind you, me, I guess, is some of these cards were were backwards when we were kids. I guess I just don't remember it. So we got a Kevin Carter there. So these definitely take me back when looking at some of these cards, guys. I love the nostalgia feel of it. Like when I was a kid opening cards, I would get so excited when my, my parents would buy me a pack of cards. Jamara. Ooh, hoo, hoo, look at that. Warren Moon, baby. I have a cool thing about that is I have a Warren Moon signed jersey. It's actually signed by Brad Johnson. Um, they used to do this really cool thing at the local Hy-Vee Barlow here. Uh, used to be just be Barlow's. They would actually bring in the players, and uh, we'd get to meet them, and they'd sign stuff for us. That's actually how I met Brad Johnson. Um, he, he ended up taking us on a little ride, and then you know after that, he was, uh, I believe, dating one of my friends, friends' parents at the time, and you know so he'd come down quite often, and you know he let us ride around his limo. He's a real humble dude. And Brad, big shout out to you if you're out there watching, man. Um, you know you've been a big influence on my life. Definitely appreciate you being there. All right, so we're going to move on. And Pinnacle 1991. You'll hear me kind of giggle in the background about some of these. It's just to think of how long ago that was, guys. You know, it's 2021 right now, and this is 1991. God, I'm getting old. So we got right off the bat there, Pinnacle. John Alt. So we got a Sanders versus Browner card. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Head to head. So any of these cards like that, I'm gonna be putting off to the side. And then we got a Joey Browner card on top of it. Nice Joey Browner there. So I do put all my Vikings and my 49ers in their own, own little area, just cause uh, I believe they, they deserve it. I'm a big enough fan. So Rob Burnett, John Alt, Eric Green, Guy McIntyre, Drew Hill, wow, Michael Irving, <laughs> Mo Lewis, Charles McRae, and Esra. So this is definitely taking me back to when I was young, guys. You know, I absolutely love the nostalgia field of it. 
being that I got all this for free, I really can't complain no matter what I hit. I know you're all waiting for me to open up them booster boxes to see if we get some big hits out of there. I've watched guys pull out $500 cards out of some of them boosters, so we're just going to keep on trucking with these little packs here and get them out of the way. So even back in the day, like the Select 94 one, it's a little bit harder to open. So I'm assuming with that, it's just, just what they use to stick everything together. So 1994. How old were you in 1994? What were you doing? So these are some thick cards here. And it looks like they don't give you quite as many. Uh, some of them are stuck together. That's kind of our problem here. So being so old, they do get stuck together. Very nice card there. Whew. So if any of you guys have older cards, I, I did go through some of my older cards and they were stuck in some of the binders. So that's something that happened over time in the past. Now with the new ones, it really doesn't do that. So the, all these cards are in pristine condition. And a Kevin Lee select rookie there. And I have a nice little fat stack to put away here at the end. Did already feed my daughter, so she's got her lunch. So 1990 NFL Football Series 1. So I actually have a lot of these Football Series cards. These score cards are definitely something that I, I collected a lot of. A lot of them really aren't in that great of condition, so I figured, you know, see what we can do here and get some get some of my collection restarted for my son. My son will be born in July. Uh, most likely we will be having a C-section. Another Steve Young there, beautiful card. So, you know, that that's something where we're not sure exactly what day we're going to do it, but, you know, with my uh, fiancé being diabetic, that's something where we're going to kind of be able to play in it. Um, our first one was very rough. We were in the hospital for almost a month and a half, two months. Lars Tate, Scott Norwood, Roger Craig, Ground Force. Bubby Brister, oh my God. Talk about take you back. And end up with a Bill Brooks there. So like I said, I love these scorecards. It's definitely something that I opened when I was younger. We move over to the NFL football in 1995. We've got a lot of different years going on here, guys. I'm going to try to open stuff as fast as I can so I can get you on your on your way to your day. <clears throat> I know a lot of my friends watch me open Pokemon. You know, I am a more of a sports buff. The Pokemon stuff just kind of started off as a collection for my daughter. Um, I did open a lot of Pokemon stuff when I was a kid. I was huge into Pokemon, but... Just not something that, you know, a 33-year-old guy should be really, really opening. They say, I think anybody any age, as long as it brings you back and gives you some joy in life, you should be able to do what you want. So we got John Elway. Beautiful John Elway card there. Drew Bledsoe. Jake Reed. <laughs> got a Frank Reich. Nice Deion Sanders playing oh, Deion Sanders with the 49ers there. Awesome. Deion Sanders played for quite a few different teams. Junior Seau. Warren Sapp rookie card. So that card's probably going to be worth a little something something. I'm put that here. So Chase Program Checklist. So as you can see right on the front there. It's going to show you everything that they have for their cards. This is something cool that they used to do that I don't see too much of anymore. Is they tell you how many cards are in the series and what you need to collect them. Jeff Hollister. Chris. And ended off with the Derek Fenner. So three big hits there right off the bat. So we got that Warren Sapp rookie. Deion Sanders starstruck. And a John Elway. Beautiful cards. Beautiful cards here. So all of these are going to be getting put right into sleeves and a couple of them into top loaders. Any of my Vikings cards obviously are going to be going in the Vikings selection. And look at these cards, guys. For being this old even, there's no edge grip. There's nothing wrong with them. Even some of the newer cards I've noticed, they already have issues with them. You know, they used to take the time to actually print these and make sure that the cards were good for us. With as much money as these companies make, that's something they should really be making sure of, that their packaging isn't going to get damaged. I understand stuff happens in shipping, but, you know, when you get a card that's cut, I've seen that quite often, where there's a cut out of a card, and it's just one of those things where, come on, make sure you tell your retailers, be careful with this stuff. This stuff is all highly collectible. 
So next we're going to move on to the Top Stadium Club Football, 1999. So these got a beautiful shine to them, as you guys can see there. I'm sure bouncing off the light. Leslie O'Neill. So yeah, back to that. And apparently it's a sports card thing that they're always inside out, upside down type of deal. So that's a wall card if you've ever seen the Dynasty cards there. It kind of shows both their stats and everything that they had for an average. Brad Bartzer, Chris Morgan, Sean Gilbert. Two Sean Gilberts. They give you a double card in this one apparently. Ooh, nice there. Jack Del Rio. I'll take you back. Jack Del Rio, baby. Eric Davis. So if you see me going off camera and putting stuff off to the side, it's just because I collect certain teams. Just like every other sports collector. Everybody's got their team. Some of us just enjoy sports. So I know I know some people, I guess, don't have a team. But from what I understand, pretty much everybody's got some team that they like. Whether it be for nostalgia or for the money side. I get it. So back to these packs where they, they packed them like this. So... A little bit different style. This is going to be a 90. Yep, 92. So this one says, Collect Mark Rippon. Performance Highlights Limited Edition Series. Even for that packaging, it's it's definitely a way better card. So Emmett Smith. John Flannery. Clarence. Lawrence. Mark Collins. Leroy Butler. Another Bubby Brist Brister there. Joey Phillips, Carol, Vinny Testaverde. Look at that, Vinny. That's old school there. Dexter Carter, Mark Duper, Mark Higgs, and a Brad Edwards. It's a couple little hits there. You know, that Emmett Smith probably being the biggest one. I mean, as most careful about this as I can. You know, most of these cards are a lot thicker than some of the newer cards. You guys will notice when I open up the other packs here. So these are interesting packs. I always remember these ones when they just rip. So this is the TSA Stadium packs, 1995. As you can kind of see there, the whole freaking thing rips right apart. It is from 1995, so who knows? And you never know. It could be could be that it's just sat that long. So we got Thomas Lewis, Leon Lett. Yeah, and I guess I stand corrected. A lot of these cards are upside down, inside out, upside, flip side, so... I guess it was something I just don't remember as a kid doing. I guess I got so excited about opening the packs. So Dwayne Harper, Ricardo McDonald. Ooh, Troy Aikman. Nice Troy Aikman card there. Troy Aikman, definitely one of those one of those people you want to put aside. Boomer Esiason. Nice Boomer. So most of these cards, that you know, they're only be worth about 25 to 50 cents. Some of the other cards are worth quite a bit. You know, like some of them rookie cards from back in the day are worth it. You know, anywhere from 10 to 50 to a couple hundred dollars, depending on what kind of condition they're in. They're hard to find nowadays. That's something that I've noticed is a lot of the cards, they're going to be in lightly played where they're damaged on the edges, which is no fun. So, you know, doing stuff like this, I definitely like when, when everything's brand new like this. So, Junior Seau... Another junior say out double hitter. So we got double packs in some of these. Byron Morris and a Ricky Reynolds. So, you know, it's hard to find cards that are in great condition nowadays, guys. You know, that's one thing where if you find from a, a good distributor, they're going to have packs where you can actually open them up and they're going to be brand new. You might have to pay a little bit more, but it's definitely going to be worth it. Especially the nostalgia side of it for us collectors. You know, we want to open up some packs and... See if we can hit something something big and get some of our teams. You know, there's a lot of guys, especially with, like, basketball and football, they'll actually do uh, breaks. So, sports breaks. Basically, the thing with sports breaks, before I open this one. So, sports breaks. Let's talk about that for a minute. So, sports breaks, basically what they do is they'll put some boosters. 
uh, some packages, and they'll put it all together, and everybody will throw down some money. Um, basically, it's usually about ten to fifteen dollars. If it's like a select or something a little bit higher, it's going to be a little bit more money. But then they'll break it open and they'll randomize whose team you get. Sometimes they will let you pick teams, but that usually goes goes awry, and then not everything fills just because everybody was going after them high money cards. So um, I do like the box breaks; they're they're a lot of fun. You get a little comp little competition in it as well. You know, I, if you want to ever get on a sports break, I can definitely point you in the right direction. They're always a lot of fun to do. Marcus Allen, Darby, and a Clay Matthews. Clay Matthews with the Browns there. All right, we're almost through these packs, guys. So we'll get out, get it to the big openers, hit, big hitters here in a minute, just to see if we can get anything out of this. Pull some fire, as everybody would say. For me, this is exciting as hell. I absolutely adore opening football, baseball, basketball. Um, I do got some hockey cards I'm going to open here eventually. I just figured I'd do this little sports opening for you guys. Just show you what's kind of out there right now. What the pricing is on a lot of this. Sports stuff is super hard to come by. You are not going to get it in stores most likely. Unless you sit and wait around like everybody else. Um, the Target and Walmart near me, you cannot find any sports stuff. It is super hard. You may find some baseball. That's about it. Other than that, you're lucky if you get sports stuff in for retail. For me, I was lucky enough to win all this stuff. So, kudos to everybody that did all the giveaways. You definitely made my, my day, my month, my week, my year, whatever you want to call it. I definitely enjoy doing going on and seeing, hey, you won something. That's freaking awesome. Especially just for being part of a group. Terry Allen. So these cards, as you can tell, are a little bit older. They're actually getting stuck together. Sometimes they'll rip on the corners and stuff like that. That's how you can tell cards have been sitting in their sealed packages for a long time. So this is interesting. This is something, a 1-2-3 hitter. So this is a Rodney Hamilton that's actually got a card stuck to it. As you can see, it's stuck. And it's a Chris Sanders. But if you look at the texture on these two... So if you can see that, I'm kind of trying to shine it a little bit for you guys, just so you can kind of see it. So this texture is like the older style cards. It doesn't have the gloss matte on it, which is super awesome actually to me. Oh, see, we got a checklist card stuck. You can tell these are older cards when you got cards that are stuck to it. So this is just a real thin piece of paper versus the thick card, uh, card stock here. So and this one probably was some type of hitter back in the day. So we're going to put that right in a uh, sleeve here just because I'm going to look it up and see what, see what it does. You know, that's really interesting to me that they would do that. They're like, oh, well, maybe it's a misprint. I, I guess I don't know on that one, but it's really interesting that, you know, you have just two different ones. And I'm getting a spam call. I've been getting way too many of them damn spam calls lately, so I'm sorry if that skips there. I'm going to put that off to the side there. Just so I can look it up and kind of get some more information about it. I do like to go on and just see what information I can actually get. So this one's going to be a football in the, uh, 19, 1994 score. <clears throat> so score used to be one of the bigger companies. I believe that by now they probably have sold out. You know, that's a lot of thing with what these sports companies, when they make cards, eventually they do sell out to somebody, whether it be the, the actual league themselves or... To another company. Uh, Don Russ has been one that's been around for a while. Panini's been around for a while. You know, Tops, of course, has been the big one for a long time. Tops has been kind of the big one. This year, Denoris took over, you know, Don Russ, however the hell you want to say that. So uh, we got Courtney Hawkins, and this is going to be another older pack where you can tell the cards are stick together. So Ricky Waters, nice. Nice Ricky Waters there. So if you see me pulling stuff apart, don't worry, I'm not pulling the card apart. I'm just pulling two cards apart. Stephen Moore, Norm Johnson. I'm going to be as careful as I can trying to pull them apart as well. So that's a 1994 rookie there. Willie McGinnis. So they did something cool like, like they do nowadays. They put the little gold card in there. So that's a Rod Bernstein. And then... <laughs> Future franchise, Drew Bledsoe. Future franchise, Drew Bledsoe. Wow, that's that's them. Drew Bledsoe cards are actually worth something nowadays. So, 
Make sure we get all this stuff kind of put off to the side and top and put it in a sleeve and top loaded. That's kind of cool there. That I always like seeing some of those future franchise cards through Blitz. <laughs> oh come on, that's awesome. If you're into sports at all like I am, so you, you kind of know who I'm talking about when I when I open up these cards and show you, and just get a good little chuckle out of it. You know, if you're newer to the sporting collection, sport collection cards, obviously it's something that you'll learn as you go. Some of the older cards, it's just really interesting. So this is a, another pro set. So this says 14 photo stat cards, one F NFL collectible, one pro set playbook, and a, you can win a trip to the Pro Bowl and win NFL memorabilia. So maybe I'll win some NFL memorabilia even though you can't collect it anymore. <laughs> so this is two ways to win with the NFL Pro uh, playbook here. So they got it tells you on the back that you can, how you can enter. Obviously, I can't enter anymore. I'm sure that's way long gone. So Super Bowl cards. I do like the Super Bowl cards. I have a couple of these. They're not in this good a condition though. So this is Super Bowl Rose Bowl Pasadena. Shows the Pittsburgh on the back there. The Steelers beat the Rams. Daryl Green. So we got some Pro Bowl cards. I do like these Pro Bowl cards. Like I said, Bruce Matthews, a Felix Wright, and then they're gonna go back to flipped over cards again. So let's just straighten these out. As I can see, there is one one nice hitter in there. So we got a Steve Brown, Roy Foster, Paul Greber. Uh, there's that Porter. So there's that hitter right there. Thurman Thomas, so 1989 NFL total, total yardage leader card. So they got that that top and that bottom on there. And then on the back there, they're, they'll have the numbered on it. So as you see, Ronnie Lott. Dan Heining, wow. Look how young he was. Huh. That's, that's something that's pretty cool. Ron Wolfley. And it ends off with an Ernest Viner. So we got one more pack to go through here, guys. So I bear, thank you for bearing with me. <clears throat> Let me get a drink of my pop here real quick. I got spoiled. I actually got some regular pop. Usually I drink diet pop just because my girlfriend is diabetic. You know, once in a while she'll want a regular pop. So if you see me drinking regular pop at work, that's, that's probably why. I do drink a lot of Red Bull. And I drink a lot of Rays, so if you guys ever can check out Rays Energy, they're, they're one that I definitely support. So these are going to be stuck cards again. And these ones, there's a lot of them on there. So let's hope it doesn't damage the card, but we've got a Junior Seau right off the bat. So as you can see, this is actually an interesting card. So this is a Desmond Howard card, and it says Jacksonville Jaguars. But you see he has the Washington Redskins on. Unfortunately, looks like the car got damaged because it was stuck to that one. Otherwise, that would have been a very nice card there. As you can see, it shows Desmond Howard Jaguars. So usually what that means is that they actually started with the one team and they only had pictures of them on the Redskins and then he moved over to the Jaguars. That's too bad on that card, to be honest, because that card probably would have been worth some money. So we got a rookie, Dino. Yeah, this is the hit or miss part of it, guys. Is Unfortunately, if you get stuck cards like this, most likely they're going to either ruin that card or they're going to ruin the other card. And as you can see here, there's there's a line right through it. If you can see that, I'll get that real close up there. You can kind of see that there's that line, that white line there. That just ruined that whole card. So at least with the Junior Seau, it doesn't look like that's in too bad a condition. There is a little bit on the back there, but it is a Junior Seau card, so... And back to the, these cards being stuck. They've been in there so long that that just ends up happening with heat over time. So we got a rookie Charlie Simmons card there. And it's stuck to another card, unfortunately. You know, that's just the nature of the beast when you get these old packs. And, you know, I won these anyways in a free giveaway. So I can't really complain. So Sean Jefferson. So vote for the best. Voted the best. Skybox Premium NFL. So let's open this up and just... So this will probably be a checklist, I'm assuming. Nope, so that you can actually play an action action match and win uh, game here. It's got prizes on it. That's something they don't do too much of. I've seen it in some of the football stuff where, you know, hey, they're going to give you a higher-end card. Just send in for it. 
And those cards are worth hundreds of dollars in it if you hit any of those. It's a little black card. And you'll you'll notice it once you see it. So yeah, all these cards are stuck, so they're not gonna be worth much. I can try to clean them off, but I have a feeling they're not gonna clean up very nice. You got a Marcus Allen there, impact, skybox. All these skybox cards for being the leader back in the day at that point, it's you guys could have done a little bit more, but they're not around anymore from what I understand. <laughs> yeah, as you can hear them rip, so that card's totally ruined that Herman Moore there. That one came out, so that's a Michael Thomas. Uh, of course, you got that whitening right there, you know, as you can see that whitening right along the edge there. It's going to be kind of hard to clean that up on both sides. So, unfortunately, those will probably not be worth as much. It's just one of those things you deal with, um, getting older packs. Like I said, I got all those for free, so I really can't complain. Hear my beautiful daughter in the background there saying no to something. I, I don't know. It looks like she's trying to come over here. So I'm going to take a little break here. You'll see this video is probably cut. Um, I'm just going to get her another little snack here. And I'll be back shortly, guys.